And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. With highs mainly in the 80s today, it's the warmest day of the year so far, and we have some more warmth on the way. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. We're going to see highs mainly in the lower 80s tomorrow, right around 70 on Thursday. That's before a cold front moves through. Behind that cold front turning sharply cooler for Friday and Saturday and Sunday with highs only in the 50s and 60s. Right now we are looking at lower to mid 80s from Green Bay south and west. We've got a warm front that's about in this position and of course with a southeast wind coming in off the lake temperatures are quite a bit cooler. But we've got 84 in Fond du Lac and it's 84 degrees in Watoma and most spots could go up another degree or two before we start to see the temperature go back down as we head deeper into the evening. 81 right now in Green Bay. Look at that dew point up to 70. That is sticky. This this is what you find in the middle of July. We've got south winds at around 10 to 15 miles per hour in Appleton. We're up to 82 degrees with southwest winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's a look at storm shield radar showing that cluster of thunderstorms moving across the area during the afternoon. And once again, a couple of those thunderstorms were severe. We had that report of a funnel cloud in northeastern Wapaka County. But speaking of severe weather and the potential for a tornado, we have that right now in west central Wisconsin here. In fact, uh, the velocity data on this storm is very impressive. This could be a uh, strong tornado. We're going to have to wait and see uh, as we start to get some reports from it. But this is a significant storm developing to our west. And there are more storms developing here across western Wisconsin and eastern Minnesota. And we're going to have to keep a close eye on those storms for later on this evening into tonight. Right now they're tracking north and east. If they continue to track north and east, we don't have to worry about it. But if they start to turn more to the east along the warm front, then they could work into northeast Wisconsin as we head deeper into the evening. It looks like the best threat for organized severe weather is off to our north and west as we head through the evening hours. But thunderstorms are possible. Here they are right now. Watch what happens as we head deeper into the night. More thunderstorms erupting to the north and along the warm front. That activity will continue as we head into tomorrow morning, and then we'll see a mixture of sun and clouds as we head into the afternoon. You can see that warm front bisecting Wisconsin right now. That's where the most intense storms have been throughout the day. South of that frontal boundary, temperatures are very summer-like, 80s and 90s. North of it, we've got 60s and 70s. Tomorrow with the front to our north, and some sunshine. We will see temperatures get back up into the lower 80s. Along with that, we'll have the chance for additional thunderstorms. And some of those thunderstorms could be on the strong to severe side as we head through the afternoon and evening. In fact, there is a slight risk for organized severe weather across the area. And that simply means that all types of severe weather are possible. So tonight, look for a few thunderstorms, especially later on tonight. It's going to be muggy overnight lows only in the 60s. Tomorrow, sun, clouds, and a few more storms. Some could be strong to severe with high temperatures in the lower 80s. We were watching a cold front move through Thursday morning. So highs early around 70, then falling with northeast winds, showers and thunderstorms, a good bet on Thursday. Gusty northeast winds on Friday, lots of clouds, much cooler, 55. Upper 50s for daytime highs on Saturday. We may actually warm into the 60s Saturday night into early Sunday morning with a chance for additional showers on Sunday. And then we'll see high temperatures rebound to around 70 degrees on Monday. So, Megan, so far just a funnel cloud reported in Wapaka County. We'll have to see if anything else is confirmed. But that could have been a bad situation. That right. storm really started to rev up and it was moving into the unstable air mass. And that's usually not a good combination. When it just shows the severe weather season is here and it's very unpredictable. It is very unpredictable and storms can pop up just like that. Well, I'm glad it wasn't bad and hopefully yes. not much damage from hail. That's right. <laughs> well, still ahead at five, a superstore opens in northeast.